Hey, I got a music roll. Seriously, you got the Lich King music roll? A photo bomb your selfie. <laughs> <laughs> I have like a big paper list of everywhere we need to go. So, it's brezzy fucking breezy. It's getting cold outside. She's our mascot. Just the yep. two of us. I hate you. It's fucking whiskey time. This will warm you up. It's freezing. Cause you're a dick. No. There yes, she's Anna. Seriously? Did you seriously? Nice. <laughs> I am photobombed. I like it. I take a selfie right in front of Cookie or something. Yep. <laughs> if you were feeling adventurous. I hate you so much. Barely take a picture with Mr. Bigglesworth. I don't know if we can be friends anymore. What's up, guys? Just gonna take a selfie with all you. Thanks. <laughs> Good luck. See you later. Right in here, right at the yeah. entrance. So that's perfect. I just kissed at the camera again. I'm such a floozy. I hate okay. you so much. Like every fiber of my being hate you. I'm a little high. Oh. You're not feeling well. No, like I'm too high in the air. Oh, I <laughs> gotcha. <my> mouth. <laughs> Having a mage friend is handy. Mm -hmm. <gasps> you know, selfie with the Lich King, gotta have it. Oh god. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes, let's do a selfie with the Lich King. I hate you. Can we say nipples? It's freezing, you get our point. I hate you so much! Oh, now it says, hey girl, are you cold? That's because it's freezing outside. Go and look. Oh! Greetings and salutations. Uh, we are doing a US for it, and I have my lovely friend Pale. Hi. <laughs> and we are doing a uh, field. And Anna and apparently wants oh, to be part of it. Sorry. And her cat Anna. That is all good. We are doing. Let me just find it. The field photographer achievement for the gets you the title field photographer. So to attain this, I'm just going to explain while I'm running. You are going to need the selfie camera, which you get from um, Garrison Missions. I believe it's a level 100 quest, so you need to be level 100 or have a follower that's level 100, would also probably work. And um, this is going to be an alliance and horde guide. Uh, so horde, you're going to start in uh, Ogremar and alliance, you will start in Stormwind. Get there however is easiest for you. I'm taking a mage with me because that means we can get places faster um, if you are not interested in if you don't have a mage or you're doing this on a different character, I would recommend setting your hearth to either Stormwind or ideally you want to set it to um, your shrine in Veil of Eternal Blossoms. That's going to be the easiest. So I have not done any of them, so we'll be doing this fresh out of the gate. So Horde, if you are starting in Ogremar, uh, take your first selfie in Ogremar. Alliance, we are in Stormwind, we're going to do Stormwind. So I am in Stormwind Pale if you would like to Perfect, I'm getting my last ore and I'll be right there. Sounds good. So this is the item that I'm going to be using. It is the selfie camera. I'm just going to put it on my toolbar here. So this is where you're going to start. And again, Horde, if you're doing that, you're just going to go to your area. I don't know. I think I should be able to find it. Yeah, so you're going to go to this little area here. It's like the stone pillar circle thing. This is where you're going to head to first. Take your selfie anywhere in the city. So, first things first, we are going to take a selfie here in Stormwind. So, we're going to go to Aldum. Where are you headed to? Uh, Halls of Origination. There it is. Now, we fly east to Tenaris. And we are going to Caverns of Time. We are off to Angoro Crater. And we need to go to the Shaper's Terrace. Now to Silithus AQ, the Silithus AQ area. We want the Scarab Dias. Okay. Now we go to Feralus, to the Twin Colossals. Yeah, next is Onyxia's Lair. And now we fly north to Echo Isles in Duratar, which is actually pretty close. We're going to go to Mount Hyjal. And we have to take a picture at Nordrasil. 
And the last one in Kalimdor is Moonglade, which is north. So anywhere in the zone works. Now you need to get to Stranglethornville. All right, so now we are going to fly west of Booty Bay to Gennaro's Point. It is the little island just northwest of Booty Bay. All right, and now we go north. And we are going to the Gurubashi Arena. We need to go right into the battle ring. And now we are going to the Dark Portal, so we are heading east. So now we go uh, west to Deadwind Pass. Or Karazhan. So you have to go in on this one. Yeah, you actually do have to go in on Karazhan. Next is to Duskwood. That mm -hmm. is Berkshire. Excellent. And now we go west again and we go to Westfall. Dead Mines. Woo. This is the back ex entrance to uh, Dead Mines. So you don't have to run through the whole big thing. All right, and now we go south, or well, west to the Westfall Lighthouse. We go to Elwyn Forest Wolf or Stormwind, which we already have. And then this is going to be the easiest way to get the Deep Run Shram if you are Horde as well, is to go in through Stormwind. So if you are Alliance or you're Horde and you're doing this, this is my suggestion to you, is you're going to fly over Stormwind and you're going to head to the Dwarven District, which is up in this quadrant here. So you're going to come in, however, and then head to the Dwarven District. And then you're going to look for this little spinning cogwheel and you're just going to fly right in. Now you can opt to take the tram to Ironforge and then try and run your way out of Ironforge. I find it's just easier to go here because you are able to mount right here and these guys shouldn't aggro. If you, if once you're able to mount then you can just fly out. And now we're going to head to Blackrock Mountain. And now we go to Loch Modon. There's Valley of Kings. We go north to Thandal Span. So Thandal's Band is the bridge between wetlands and Arathi Highlands. And now we go north again to Hillsbrad. We need to go to Ravenholt Manor, so it's north and west. Alright, so Ravenholt Manor is not actually on the map. It's right here, though. We are going to Uther's Tomb and then Hearthglen in western Plaguelands. We are going to Light's Hope Chapel. So I recommend porting to either Stormwind or Overmark, and then taking the portal to right here to Hellfire Peninsula. So we are going very north to the throne of, well, northeast, northwest rather, of what I learned how to direct, uh, northwest to throne of Kiljaden. Fly or port to Shadrath. Now this is important, it has to be the Outland Shadrath. You cannot do the Shadrath in Valor. And now we go west to Nagrand. And we are going to the Throne of the Elements. Now you can do this one in Draenor. This is one that can be done in both. Um, but just with how uh, you can't fly on your own, you have to take flight points or mount in Draenor. I figured it was easier to just include it into this one. It's kind of on the way to where we're going anyway. We fly to another storm. All right, Storm's Fire, we are here. Now we are going to Northern, so get to Dalaran, that is the easiest way. And then the next one, you actually, is. this is the most probably annoying one in my opinion, you actually have to run Ice Crown. Seriously? You need a picture on the Frozen Throne. Uh, we're <laughs> going to Wintergrasp. Uh, we're going to Wintergrasp Fortress. So now we are going to Wormrest Temple. And the next one is in Naxxramas. We'll have to go in. And now we go to Howling Fjord to Dagger Cap Bay. So now we go to Pandaland. So if you are Horde and doing this, you will get ported north in Jade Forest. And so you're going to do this opposite from us. Um, so you will do the one in Kunlai, then you will do the one in Vale, then you will do Valley, and then you will do Krauserang. But because we start south, we're going to go to Krauserang first. So we need to go to Turtle Beach, 
It's where the wandering t festival thing happens. The wanderers festival happens. And now we go north to our farm and you take a picture on Sunsong Ranch. Now we go north and we just have to go into Vale. It doesn't matter where. Now we just have the one in Kunlai. Mount Neverest. Now, Garrison Hearth. Horde, if you are doing this. Oh, excuse me. Yep, I'm awake. Um, you're gonna Garrison Hearth and you're gonna do Akindu first and then go on to Temple of Karavor and Alliance, you're gonna do this the same way that we are. We can fly to the Tranquil Court. Um, so yeah, Horde, you're either gonna go here or here and then you're just gonna have to run, unfortunately. But because this is account-wide, you can do this on an Alliance character. So this right here is the Temple of Karavor. Okay, now we're gonna fly to Akindun. Now for Akindun, we can go to either the Exar's Refuge for Alliance Horde. I don't know where your other flight point is, but you can definitely go to Retribution Points. Okay, so yeah, we're actually gonna have to go inside. If you are, it doesn't matter if you're Horde or Alliance, get back to your little portal place, the, what are they called? The Eastern Earth Shrine, I don't know what they call it in the Something Horde. Like and you're gonna go to Deep Home. No, we have to go to Deathwing's Fall. And then we're gonna port back to Stormwind. The good news is the portal will take you right back to the center. And then we go to Bashir. Oh, there's all the people. And ready, ready, this is the last one. Put the statue in there. Yay! There we go. And that is how you do it. So my total film time is Oh god, two hours, 27 minutes. So I'm going to cut this down. Thank you, Kale, for keeping me no company. No problem. And uh, yeah, this will be going up on Saturday, so that's when you guys will see and it. And Kale will help hers by then, for sure, because oh, she's flying sure. right now. Yeah. Okay, so thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.